What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my June oven, and today I'm gonna make some game day chicken wings. All right, guys, now this is a group favorite, my air fryer group on Facebook, but I thought I had a full box, but this is a half a box, so that's not going to be enough. So I do have my final bag of chicken crack, chicken seasoning, so we'll just use that right now. I'm going to do it old school, guys, and just put it into the Ziploc. We'll do, I don't know, four or five wings at a time, shake them up, and put them on this mat real quick. All right, guys, like I said, I'll do about three or four at a time. And get one more in there. Now I'm just going to give it a good shake. Now, guys, you don't have to use any specific breading. You can use your own. You could, you know, use some flour, put some salt and pepper, maybe some garlic powder in there, mix it up and bread it. However you normally bread your fried chicken, so be it. Go for it. Anywho, um, I have my evil oil sprayer in the house and I have avocado oil in there. But if I had olive oil in there, that would be fine as well. So I'm going to hit it on both sides. All right, the other side. Now guys, I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Quick intermission, AJ said he would like some pizza with his wings. So I said, no problem. I like to take off the pepperonis and then add a little garlic seasoning to it for additional flavoring. Y'all know I love flavor God. This is garlic seasoning. You can use any garlic seasoning you want but this helps the flavor out a whole lot. Something like that. Alright guys, so this is what we're looking like. Alright. Alright guys, 30 minutes have passed. I'm going to go ahead and transfer them to my air fryer basket. And just for extra bonus, I'm going to spray out the basket with some pan. Might not be necessary, but did it anyway. So we got 18 on there guys. Not bad. All right, so I got this tray on the bottom to catch any drippings. We're gonna preheat. Tell June oven to preheat to 425. All right, starting bake. Got a little head start from the pizza. Tell June the status. Preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Currently 308. Alright, so we got them in there, guys. Ah, he knows his drumsticks, but we're going to air fry them today, so we're going to do our own little thing. I'll do 425. Alright guys. I want to set a timer. Let's do it for... We'll do it for 20 minutes. We'll flip at 20 minutes. 
Alright guys. Y'all hear that? You see that y'all? Yeah. That's why it's there. Alright guys, let's flip one over and see what we're looking like. Okay, so the other side definitely needs to cook. And I'll let, I'll let you know what I did in the description because I raised the temperature uh, 450 for the uh, and the time to uh, uh, extra five minutes. But I'll put what I did in the description anyway. Yeah, this is definitely going to need 10 minutes at 450. And guys, make sure you spray your, your basket because that helped with flipping it. I, I think it would have stuck if I didn't. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. I like mine crispy. Smelling fantastic, guys. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Right, this is what we're looking like, guys. Look at this. Come on now. Alright, guys. <clears throat> Here you have it. That's my plate. Some celery with me. Mm. And there's some ranch on it. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Alright guys, let's check out this chicken. Like I said, I like mine crispy. Let's go ahead and have a bite. Oh, you first. Got it? Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all like flats. Go ahead. Got it? Also, guys, if you have a June oven, definitely, if you're not in the uh, official June oven um, Facebook group, definitely join that, that group. I'll put a link in the description to their group. Awesome uh, tips and tricks on, you know, how to use this awesome machine. I'll also put a link in the description on how you can get a June oven because it's not sold at Amazon or Walmart or Target. It's only sold at their website. This is a high-end machine, guys. So, don't be afraid of success. It's an awesome machine. If you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. If you have Spotify or iTunes, type in Cooking with Doug in those platforms to listen to my podcast. But other than that, that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.